This is not good for Bitcoin right now. Make sure to stay tuned. We are going to power pump this video with some crazy stuff busy happening in the market right now. But more than anything, as a trader, we need to look at technical indicators. So right now, I'm going to jump through a few articles, show you, and then we'll jump into the charts. So let's go and check this out right here, right now. I'm not even wasting any more time, guys. Thanks for being here with me today and welcome back to the Crypto Blue Show. Thank you for being here with me, my very special and beautiful community. You guys can see I've been doing lots of all kinds of different videos. Make sure to just hit that notification bell because I am going to be blasting out videos for you guys today um, that will be released over the next few days. So big, big, big time and big stuff happening. So thanks for being here with me on the Crypto Blue Show. 1.22 trillion, 36 uh, billion in trading volume. Bitcoin sitting at 29,500. Ethereum at 1850. Uh, Tether is holding its peg right now. BNB at 241. XRP at 62 cents. Dogecoin 7.5. 7 Solana 24.41. Polygon 6.9. Polkadot 502. Shibus 979. So only down like two, two points. Uh, Uniswap is up quite a bit, I see, 624. Avalanche, 1251. Chainlink, 764. Stellar, 13 cents. And Cosmos, 846. Okay. All righty, guys. Today in the Fear and Greed Index, we can see that we're at 53. So we bounced from 53. So from 49 to 54 to 50 to 53. So we are in a very typical range right now on the Bitcoin chart. <coughs> excuse me, as well as the fear and greed index. I'm going to leave that right in there for us. That is raw footage. Um, don't mean to waste your time. Aptos pumping, Rune pumping, Maker pumping, Hex pumping, um, RPL pumping, Uni pumping, Curve. Yeah, Render pumping, guys. The rest of them, pretty flat, pretty down, right? So Aptos is the only one. If you guys managed to catch a trade on Aptos and Rune, well done to you guys. I didn't. I haven't been looking at the charts too much lately, although this is the time where I should be looking at it. I've just been extremely busy in my businesses, so um, I've had a lot of things to do. Guys, you need to know and remember the CPI data that is coming out a little bit later today, plus the initial jobless claims. We've got core CPI, CPI euro on year, and core CPI euro over year. Now, that is going to hugely affect and move the market. It is going to make the market go wild. All right. Let's go and check out this beautiful article right here, right now. Why is the Bitcoin price stuck? I'm not going to read this article to you guys today, but very, very simple. Why is the Bitcoin price stuck? Well, it's seeing prices. Uh, Bitcoin price sees low record volatility. I've been speaking about this for some time now. So we're at the lowest volatility point that we have been in for a very, very, very long time. So, um, yeah, the next thing is, is that BTC vs. ETH. ETH derivatives trade volume. Okay, so you can see that trading volume is also falling and and going lower. Um, and then what is next for the Bitcoin price? So we'll have a look here, but periods where spot all four averages, okay, are pretty much in alignment right here is what they're saying. Okay, that's what happened over here is what this green block is saying once again. And it is basically saying to us that we are right now in this little kind of area here which means that we could be getting ready for the craziest, most insane rally that you could imagine. And I'd just like to go and show you, if you look closely in at this, guys, look at this level here. We literally sat sideways for a very, very long time. It's busy happening to us right now. So don't be afraid of this, okay? There's a lot of stuff that is happening, but market depth for BTC is pushing yearly lows and in periods of low liquidity. We tend to see the short-term volatility both to the upside and the downside. As always, we have to step back and examine the bigger picture. Looking further ahead for setup for a rally as we head into the next BTC is ha uh, BTC is halving is certainly there. All the fundamentals are looking positive when examined on a longer time frame and coupled with potential of a spot ETF approval sentiment could definitely be picking up. But until then, I expect it to be boring price action alongside illiquidity induced short term moves. So you can see that it's being pretty much said simple. Uh, some news about Binance here quickly. Well, what will Bitcoin do if the Justice Department takes aim at Binance? If the US DOJ Department of Justice indicts Binance executives on charges similar to those already issued by regulators, 
could it have an unusual effect on cryptocurrency market in the year ahead? Well, it could, um, but I'm gonna shorten this article all for you. Basically, there's a whole bunch of reporters, a whole bunch of copy editors, writers, coin telegraphers, whatever is the chief and cheddars, and everybody is basically calling between uh, at um, by the 31st of December, the maximum price is the 31, uh, 41K price. That's what the maximum price is that these guys are all calling. So guys, for me, I've shown you some different stories uh, and I do believe that we will see some different stories, but those stories will probably only start to come alive and come true from October. And why is that? Well, I'm gonna show you some stuff now, okay. Demand is driving the price of Bitcoin to 130K. Data has accurately predicted that when Bitcoin would decline in 2021, now indicates the climb to 130, okay? So that intersection is the supply and demand, all right? Very, very simple in trading, supply areas and demand areas. Estimated the fair value price of Bitcoin. So the estimated value of capitalization based on, based, based on rate of adoption. Now bearing in mind, guys, that this is actually only from 2021. So this article is already two and a bit years old, Bearing in mind, we're probably sitting, and I'm gonna zoom in here, we're probably sitting somewhere around this level right now. And every time we hit the orange level, that is the level to accumulate Bitcoin and sell when it hits the blue line, okay? So the blue line was the time to sell in 2021, right? That's exactly what it's saying. So don't be fooled by reading articles like this that give a little bit of misinformation where there's not all of the data present in the article. Which brings me to the next one. The ratio between capitalization um, and uh, number of wallets. Okay, so the average is this dotted line here down, right down the center. And you can see now the ratio of capitalization is underneath the number of wallets, but this is maybe not also updated as well. But the average dollars per wallet uh, times wallet is just over, uh, sorry, just under 10,000. Okay, that is the average value of uh, dollars in a wallet. So pretty interesting, right? Now forecast based on rate adoption, another beautiful chart that is really just incredible to look at. So forecast based on rate adoption. So the bottom line is the red line, the top line is the blue uh, dotted line and capitalization of Bitcoin is busy taking place, right? So capitalization um, is basically taking place here. And you can see that that is market capitalization being around 580, 600 billion dollars right now. That's why it's under the trillion dollar market cap. So Bitcoin reached already a trillion dollar market cap. Bitcoin is going to be aiming by 2030 to have a 10 trillion dollar market cap. So by 2030, okay, we're basically saying by 2030, then Bitcoin's value would be 10x from where it is today, which means that Bitcoin, Bitcoin would be $300,000 in value. I would like to know what you guys think about that down below because that makes sense, lots of sense to me, but I think Bitcoin will be worth a lot more by 2033. I've previously said about $3.3 million per Bitcoin. So that's my personal view. I would love to know what you guys think. But Bitcoin risks a 15% dip by October, but 100K is due in 2026 analysis. So another, just I'm, I'm sorry guys, this, I, I just have to be brutal, but this is nonsense, okay, because actually we'll have that dip, we'll have some sort of dip at the moment and we are busy having that dip at the moment. Um, and this is before uh, October, where October, as I have previously mentioned to you guys on multiple videos on my channel, if you guys enjoy the channel, make sure to come and subscribe guys. I know 47% of you who are watching this video are not subscribed to the channel, so please do subscribe. But Getting back to what actually matters is the BTC price might see some last dip. This would be the last big dip before the next big rule, um, big bull run cycle commences. Now, I need to take a look at this chart with you. This is from Kane Island Digital Research. Okay, September is a bad month. Now, I said to you guys that we would probably see the dip off sometime in late August into September. That's when we would see a dip that would be your last buying opportunity at these price levels before Bitcoin actually started and commenced its bull run. And this is exactly why I believe that some of the ETFs will probably be, be approved. And that's why I mentioned to you guys yesterday in my video here, if you and here actually, and even here, if you didn't go and watch those, make sure to go and watch those because 
What I mentioned there was that the Bitcoin ETF uh, approvals that will be coming are not just going to be BlackRock. They, it may be BlackRock might be the first. I don't know. But insider information, as I said to you, tells us that it will be a lot sooner than the next six months. So we're in August, September, October, November, December, January. OK, now why I'm saying that to you is because from October, if you have not bought the dip in September, from October, you will not be able to buy the dip again. OK, and that will be the commencement of the bull run. And it will literally just be like dominoes. Boom, boom, one after the next investment coming into the space and capitalization of crypto will drastically increase. OK, which from October, you can see is the hugest, some of the biggest gains in uh, Bitcoin. OK, you can see here November, very few weak months and most of them uh, good months. Same thing for December, January pumps again. Then we have slow drop downs. April's a good month. May is a slightly, you know, everybody says sell and may go away. Um, and that's because of, yeah, you know, it's not always true, but yeah, as you can see here. So guys, I for me would say that end of August to September, that is where we'll see one last dip off um, in the Bitcoin price, which will take us into a crazy uh, trend. Now, bear markets are for waiting, no doubting. OK, Bitcoin is less than a thousand days away from 100K. Now, if you know one of the biggest rules in financial gain, OK, the patient take the money from the impatient and the impatient pass the money to the patient. OK, in other words, the sell, the, um, the, the supply and demand, sell and buy price action of these assets. OK, so you can see here 7.5 X. So what this is, is Bitcoin's lowest price forward and trend. So lowest price, boom. OK, 7.5 X. Next one, 7.5 X. Next one, 7.5 X, 7.5 X, 7.5 X, 7.5 X, 7.5 X. Is that what we're expecting right now by May 26? What was 7.5 XB from 30K Bitcoin, guys? Um, that's about the average is what they're saying, right? $225,000. So I have previously said to you, $275,000 is actually my mark for the end of the next bull cycle, which I think will take place in 2026. Um, make sure to go and check out my social media channels. I've posted some really cool trend stuff for you to see that and confirm exactly what it is that I've just shared with you guys on those videos. So make sure that you are you buying some Bitcoin, no financial advice, guys. But now let's go and have a quick squeeze of the charts. I'm going to fly through the charts, go through a bit of TA here in the moment with you guys. So thanks for being here with me. Remember, to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed. Dollar is officially creating lower lows. And I'm going to say to you, Actually, Bitcoin looks more in correlation with the dollar at the moment than with um, any other asset, which is interesting, right? Because it shouldn't be correlating. Um, so right now you can see here that we pretty much breaking back. We've made lower highs consecutively. We've had resistance here at this level, um, this downsloping trend. Plus, we're coming back below the the um, my blue horizontal support zone and the RSI is pulling down. So we could still fall here. We might be supported at this upward sloping um, trend line plus the 200 and 100 EMA over here. So that is a big line. And bearing that in mind with the CPI data coming out a little bit later, guys, and the Bitcoin dominance chart. Let's go and have a look at the Bitcoin dominance chart. You can see here on the Bitcoin dominance chart, perfectly retraced back into my my zone here. And now could we be looking for a very strong bullish action to the upside on the Bitcoin dominance, which would push Bitcoin price up, of course, which would actually start to pull a little bit of the other altcoins up with it, inclusive of Ethereum, of course. And Ethereum, as you can see here, it's pretty much coming to that point too. We had a strong buy candle here. We've been retesting very nicely here. We are trying to get through on the four hourly time frame through this beautiful, beautiful 200 over here. We have found some support on the EMA. The EMA is starting to turn. Guys, this is looking very delicious. So for me, that is looking like we need to go for some sort of 
bullish action over the next little while. And I think CPI is going to give us that bullish action and PPI tomorrow will give us some more bullish action. Now on the ETH BTC pair on the four hourly time frame, we have come and met a huge resistance level here. Plus we've meeting resistance on the ribbon, plus lower highs, lower lows essentially, but we bottomed out here. Okay, so that for me is a good sign on the ETH BTC pair. Okay, we bottomed out here. We didn't want to be below this upward sloping support zone. And we've now created some sort of W pattern, as you can see here. Um, and essentially, that would be the neckline that we're trying to break out of at the moment, which would probably give us a target of this zone right up here on the ETH BTC pair. So we'll see where that takes us. But last chart for the for the video today, guys, is the Bitcoin chart. Now, let's go and have some fun with the Bitcoin chart because you guys have been seeing exactly what's been happening out here. So yesterday in the video, if you didn't go and watch it, go and watch that video, guys. It was very important. That's why I put the title there. This is so important. OK, over here, resistance, resistance. We broke out of this um, triangle. We broke out of the pennant nicely here. We retested. We had this shooting star candle pullback, shooting star candle pullback, shooting star candle pullback. OK, we are finding, however, we are finding very, very strong support on the EMA plus um, the um, ribbon plus the 200 plus the 100 is pulling over the 200. And now we are starting to look a little bit more bullish for the Bitcoin chart. Plus we bounced off of the support, creating higher lows here, plus a higher high in the most recent time zone. Plus, you know, it kind of annihilated these highs here also. So we erased those highs, but we did meet resistance, as I said, at this level. So we're going to need some serious strength to get us back out of here. Now, looking on the four hourly time frame, we are in a beautiful, um, uh, yeah, you could call it a bull pennant sh uh, shape. And that's why I'm going to say, guys, we're probably still in a range at the moment. So here you can see if we had to do a little bit of a breakout, where is this going to bring us? Maybe back up to this 31,500 level. Guess what? Look at that zone. And, and in fact, what I'm going to do for us right now is I'm just going to draw us a little horizontal ray right here, okay? And I'm going to show us that if we do continue to break out, that is the level that we actually have to get above on the Bitcoin price for us to commence a super strong bullish momentum to actually get us out to the target of the 36K level that we are expecting. Now, guys, if we do get out of this 31, this horizontal level here, 31,400, I am going to call an absolutely new and exciting uh, range level for Bitcoin and what that range is for me going to look like. Now, I do want to point something out on the daily. So just give me a moment. Um, I would say that the, the new range on the Bitcoin price or on the Bitcoin chart would probably be between the 48 and down here back at the, about the 34, 35K level, even the 31K. That would probably be where the new range would be, guys. Um, but for now, as you can see on the daily time frame, we're actually in a crazy, crazy moment. And this is why I'm saying we have to be very cautious because the time frames aren't really adding up for us right now. I showed you on this video yesterday specifics of candles, reversal candles at specific levels. And this is now officially one of them on the daily time frame. Plus, we have the RSI turning down, but we don't have volume. So we're only ticking off two things out of my four things. OK, we don't have the volume to push the price down. We broke up. We we found some support on this. Uh, maybe we can pull back down to the EMA over here at the twenty nine thousand eight hundred once again uh, to give that level one more retest for that strong move back up to this uh, thirty one thousand four hundred guys. But I'm going to be brutally honest. I think we're just going to be ranging in this range here still for a little while. And I'm going to say that we'll probably range until we get to about this point here in October, which is where I'm saying where we have to make some sort of decision of a breakout level. And why do I say that? And why do I call that? Because if, I, if you look at this, just ignore everything in the chart for now. OK, but this neckline, this uh, green horizontal uh, resistance neckline, that is the triangle pattern for this entire time frame, right? Look at that. Boom. There's your triangle pattern. So if we do end up breaking Bitcoin support this level, 
I'm telling you, we will very likely come down back to this zone here at the 20,000 level. That is my prediction. If we do have one last dip in August or September, and I'll tell you that percentage now, or we finally get a breakout out of this horizontal um, triangle, which is actually more bullish than bearish, and we break through, smash this level of resistance, pull back, find some support here, maybe try and attempt that level once again. It won't happen in five seconds, guys. It's gonna take a few months, right? So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I think that it, that is also critically important. So thanks for being here with me on the channel. Guys, if you wanna trade this awesome cryptocurrency with me, make sure to hit my Bitflex and my Bybit link down below. It is gonna give you an absolutely awesome bonus gift there. Thanks for being here with me on the Crypto Bliss channel. And make sure the 47% of you who are not subscribed to the channel and watching this video are now subscribing if you have made it to the end of the video. Thanks for being here, a loyal supporter if you are. Really appreciate you. Much love and we'll see you on the next one.